Here now, Fox News contributor and former White House speechwriter Mark Thiessen, along with Fox News contributor and London Center for Policy Research senior fellow DeRoy Murdoch. Mark, to you first, what's the one thing that could set a candidate apart? I will say, do not ever mention the word bipartisan. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But I, look, I, I think it's actually bad for Donald Trump that he's not going to be there, but it's good for the Republican Party because what we're going to see on that stage is an embarrassment of riches. I mean, I would take our 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 bench and put it up against Biden or the, anyone on the Democrats bench and we crush them. They've got so much talent. Tim Scott is so smart. Mike Pence, uh, DeSantis, uh, you go down the list. There's so many great people to choose from. And so it was going to be a good thing for the Repo for the Republican voters to see that without the shadow of Donald Trump hanging over it and see what talent, what ability we have and what kind of candidates uh, we could put forward if, if Trump is not the nominee. And one of those people has to have a great night and emerge to be the challenger to Donald Trump. There's basically two primaries going on. There's a primary to challenge Donald Trump, and then and then there's the primary with Trump to decide who's the Republican nominee, and we're going to see the first salvo in that first primary on, on Wednesday night. So, but, Droy, to, to Mark's point, in this debate, if, if, if you're on the stage, do you, think, do you think you can take any voters away from Donald Trump? Can candidates do that on the stage on, on Wednesday night, or is this really a competition for who can get in second place or who can be the heir apparent for the vice presidency who Donald Trump would pick. Yeah, I uh, agree with a lot that Mark said, but I think that uh, one thing that really is a big advantage to Donald J. Trump staying out of this debate, I'd rather have him in there m making his case, but by stepping away from it, what he does is basically create a situation where I think everyone is going to open fire on Ron DeSantis and let all those oh. people try to tear him down because he's the number two guy. They don't like to be the number two guy or at least move up or gal, as the case may be, and move up up the ladder. And so I think you're going to have the other candidates uh, basically trying to tear down Ron DeSantis, and that will put Trump in an even stronger position if Ron DeSantis is even weaker than he is now. So I think there's a real strategic advantage to Trump staying out of it from that standpoint, and really that standpoint alone. But I do agree on the wealth of riches, the tremendous talent we have, very bright, engaged, um, experienced people who, who uh, are such a contrast to what we see out of coming out of the Biden White House these days. Right. A uh, president who's almost non compass mentis, who's corrupt as hell. Exactly. Uh, it seems like CNN's starting to think they're losing the war of words, whining on Sunday that Republicans are using verbal jujitsu to turn the left's own words <laughs> against them. Well, their article goes on to say this, quote, Republicans are masters of verbal jujitsu. It's a form of linguistic combat in which the practitioner takes a political phrase or concept popularized by their opponent and gradually turns it into an unusable slur. Like the Japanese martial art known as jujitsu, its devotees avoid taking opposing arguments head on and instead redirect their opponent's momentum to beat them. <laughs> DeRoy, I'm going to come to you. The, and they go into uh, critical race theory, diversity issues like that. One woman says you can't even use DEI anymore because it's been weaponized. <laughs> it's not the words. It's the actual concepts and the ideology that these words represent. They haven't turned them on the left. They've exposed what the left is doing. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. I mean, you look at something like critical race theory. If they said, look, everyone should be open-minded, be, be lovely to your neighbors, we'd, we'd agree with that. When critical race theory is about how can we get blacks and whites to fight each other and, and, and tear the country to pieces, you know, people on the right are going to be opposed to that. Uh, but the left is very, very good at this wordplay sort of thing. For example, we used to call them food stamps. And then they decided, well, that's not a good name. Let's call them SNAP. Uh, and then we call them, uh, called, used to call it uh, breastfeeding. Now it's chest feeding. Uh, I would think if we call it child sexual mutilation, people would run like hell. You you call it gender affirming care, and it sounds like a spa treatment. So the left is very, very good at, at using uh, words and, and to coming up with new phrases, usually to act as, as sort of like a smokescreen to, to hide what it is that they're trying to do. Yeah, Mark, isn't that the point that, that Republicans just are attacking the, the concepts, to Dagan's point, the, the concepts behind the words, and the words crumble because the concepts are garbage, like being woke is a uh, garbage concept. Yes? Yeah, basic, basically, they're fighting, the left is fighting judicial with itself. Because what they're doing is they, they're saying stupid stuff, and then Republicans 
call them on it and they say whoops i'm on the ground i'm on the map you, know? <laughs> so like, you do that yourself on the map we didn't even have to try and this is the party by the way keep in mind whose president uh, called the withdraw the taliban takeover of kabul 13 dead americans and afghans falling from the fuselages of air of aircraft leaving kabul a extraordinary success if you want to talk about verbal jujitsu uh nobody beats joe biden we call that lying too or the other. Or that's, that's another way of putting it. <laughs> we could do a whole hour of how they've tried to, in their fascist-like way, change the language and change Absolutely. the meaning of words. Yeah. Sign me up. Purely for control. That's our next special. I'll do that special with you, Megan. <laughs> All right. Glad to be there for that. Mark Thiessen, thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Take care.